coming. Our little slice of heaven here we call the farm. We start the flying activities out every day. Steve, what do we got here? Uh, this is a Fisher Avenger we built from a kit over about four years. Now, uh, this doesn't look exactly like a Fisher Avenger, though. What kind of modifications have you made to it? Oh, well, there's a ton of modifications. We've, um, if you start right at the nose all the way to the tail, there's every, <laughs> we've taken every fitting and changed it either to a ball joint or a, a metal to metal fitting rather than going right through the, right through a tube of the um, we have taken every surface that turns and put either a bronze bushing in it or a ball bearing. The ailerons, for example, have ball bearings on, it, on the ends of them rather than just a Lexan block like Fisher had. Um, yeah, what else do we do? You can edit this. What, what are we powering it with? We're powering it with the KK for Aeromarine engine. It's a, uh, a snowmobile engine from, I assume, the late 70s that was made at Mercury Marine right down the road in Fond du Lac here. And we were able to get it uh, new old stock from a, a snowmobile supply house for $300 and we converted it ourselves. It must be using a reduction drive on it though, it's two stroke. Right, it's got a, a Cuyuna reduction drive on it that we modified, that we fit to the engine. So. Now, how did you, you, you uh, just basically ordered a kit from Fisher then? Initially? Right, we actually went to Fisher's factory and picked it up. Okay. So we got this airplane laying at your doorstep here and you're saying to yourself, okay, here's a Fisher aircraft and I'm going to do some modifications. So why do the modifications? Uh, because we had already built one of his airplanes and it turned out just great, but we wanted to make one that was just a little more elegant. Not that his engineering is bad, his engineering is just great. We want to just make it all just a little more right for us. So, from that point, you've, you've decided to make some changes to the aircraft. You've started the design changes. Right. What type of building times were entailed? I mean, the average Fisher is, you know, two to four hundred hours. <laughs> With the kind of modifications you guys are talking, this must have been a lifelong work. We, we've got, uh, from start to finish, we put four years and seven months into it, until the first flight. It's probably at about 1,500 to 1,750 hours of time. <laughs> still married, the wife and kids are still there. She was happy because I was always in the basement. <laughs> okay, now you've got the airplane basically ready to fly. Then what type of, of coating, uh, covering and stuff have you used? Uh, this, is, this is the Stitz, the old Stitz system with Stitz fabric. Um, very delightful to work with. It's great to spray. It sprays like lacquer. It's a great system. Now we've got the airplane ready to fly then. What kind of performance are we getting out of it? First of all, what kind of horsepower do you have? Uh, I assume it's somewhere between 35 and 38 horsepower. The, the engine was claimed to have 40 horsepower, but there's no way. And, uh, okay, we're looking at uh, takeoff. What kind of takeoff distance are we getting? About 100 feet. Okay. A climb rate on it? Uh, 600 feet per minute. Uh, cruise speed? 60 to 65. And uh, stall speed? Stall speed, low 20s. You, you've got a partner in crime in this. Yep. He's tied back here in the... Uh... <laughs> well, we're still assembling here. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're uh, bringing it to... Uh, this is the first time you've been to Oshkosh? Because I haven't seen it here. Before. Right, this is the first year in Oshkosh. Does that mean that you just finished it? It just flew last year, right after Oshkosh. How many hours you got on it now? Oh, we got about 12 hours on it. You're quite happy with the performance? Or you yes, it, it's, it's a real sweet art of an airplane. If uh, somebody wanted to get a hold of you to do a, you know, some of the modifications that you've done to it, <laughs> is there any way of uh, getting a hold of you? Well, first, uh, if they'll let them call out of the insane asylum, we'll let them. It's, it's, uh, the name's Steve Kershaw at 1201 Shoreland Drive in Racine, Wisconsin. The phone number is 262-681-3226. Thank you very much for your time, Steve. You're welcome.